So one of the things I learned, Ben, is that first I thought people didn't care. For many years I thought that, like, we're satisfied having what we have, but I found out that it's that people didn't know. So number one, create an awareness. Educate people, let people know, like you're allowing me to have be here to even address it. And so it's like the big elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk so about. So public awareness, public absolutely, education. Absolutely, absolutely. Then once we make awareness, then of course what we do is make easy access. What is easy access? You can drill a borehole for about three grand. And so one person may not be able to write a check for that, but if people come together and each one kind of chip in and they come together and say, you know what, I'll take this village or, you know, my business will take one. And we've actually had people saying, you know what, I want one for my company. And we're even doing plaques on there if you want your family, like leaving a legacy for your family. And just everybody chipping in and doing a little something. And we're addressing the areas that have the greatest needs. And we're bore now up to about nine to 10 boreholes a week. So it's really catching on. Let me ask you a question about sustainability. Mm -hmm. Once uh, the typical well is drilled, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I refer to it as water hole, mm -hmm. Uh, what's the longevity of, of that uh, source borehole. of water? Okay, got you. What we do is do a contract with the company for maintenance because a lot of people do the boreholes or the wells and walk away. That's no good if you don't have a maintenance contract because after a period of time, the, you know, things can get contaminated. So we have a maintenance contract so that it's, con it's sustainability. Secondly, we don't just go and leave the water. We endeavor to try to bring a, a type of a source of income, financial sustainability, like crops, community gardens, and different things like that, so that they can begin to not only have dignity, but have a way of being able to pull themselves up. So it's not just going to give them water. We do the tiny houses, we do the schools, all the different things to bring a type of infrastructure and community 